Hello and welcome to the history of sport and in today's video we are looking at one of the most remarkable wins that Wimbledon has ever seen. So without further ado, let's get into the story of Goran Ivanisevic, the wild card that won Wimbledon. The year was 2001 and the former world number two and three time Wimbledon finalist Goran Ivanisevic had slid right down the rankings and was sitting at 125th in the world. His rapid decline down the ATP rankings was due to a shoulder injury which made it near impossible for the then 30 year old to make it through long tournaments. Because he was ranked 125th in the world, his only hopes for qualifying for Wimbledon in 2001 were to receive a wild card from the All England Club, which is exactly what he got. This was because he'd already reached three Wimbledon finals and he was popular with the fans. One big change to Wimbledon in 2001 is the number of seeded entries in the draw was expanded to 32 and as Goran had slid down the rankings he would no longer be a seeded entry so as a result in order to get to the final he would have to battle past some high ranked players. Goran Ivanisevic first reached the Wimbledon final 10 years previously where he had an intense 5 set battle with Andre Agassi. The Croatian had all the momentum going into the 5th set, winning the 4th 6-1. However, the American Andre Agassi used all of his prior experience to win the match. Many people saw the 1992 Wimbledon final as Goran Ivanisevic's best chance of claiming a Grand Slam title, as he was never able to reach the final of any of the other Grand Slams with his next best a semi-final appearance at the 1996 US Open. Although Goran Ivanisevic was not a seeded player going into the first round of the championship, he received a surprisingly easy draw. He was drawn against Swedish player Fredrik Jonsson who had a career best ranking of 107th in the world. So unsurprisingly Goran Ivanisevic won in straight sets 6-4, 6-4, 6-4. Six, six, four. So Goran Ivanisevic had a strong start to the 2001 Wimbledon Championships. However, no one could tell what was about to happen next. In the second round of the championship, everyone was sure that he was going to be beaten as he was drawn against the 21st seed, Carlos Moya. Carlos Moya had a strong start to the match, winning the first set tiebreak and everyone in the crowd from then on was sure that Goran Ivanisevic would be beaten. But then Goran used all of his experience to comfortably win the match 6-3, 6-4, 6-4. It seemed that the Goran Ivanisevic of old was coming back and many people started to believe that he could go far in the 2001 tournament. Round 3 then posed another problem for Goran as he had to face fellow wildcard Andy Roddick. The two were at polar opposites of their career as Andy was just starting his and Goran's was sure to be ending. However, yet again Goran Ivanisevic found form and beat him in 4 sets. The round of 16 was also surprisingly easy for Goran Ivanisevic as he was to face Greg Rosetsky who was far past his prime and Goran blast past him in straight sets 7-6, 6-4, 6-4. Before Goran's quarter final against the fourth seed Marat Zafin, Roger Federer had just knocked out Pete Sampras who at the time was the top seed so people were sensing that the draw was about to open up and it could be Goran's chance to clinch a Grand Slam title. The match lasted 5 sets which Goran Ivanisevic won. He would then face in the semi-final home favourite Tim Henman who had just beaten 19 year old Roger Federer. Tim Henman took an early lead, leading 2 sets to 1. However, due to unbelievably poor weather in 2001, the match had to be played over three days and as a result, the momentum kept swinging between the two players. 
The match went right down to the wire, with Goran Ivanisevic winning the deciding fifth set, 6-3, which meant he was through to another Wimbledon final. Goran could have faced his nemesis Andre Agassi in the final, however he was beaten by Australian Pat Rafter. Due to persistent rain and the fact that the centre court had not yet got a roof, the final was to be played on Monday, that was nicknamed People's Monday, and the people on centre court that day were treated to one of the best ever Wimbledon finals. Goran Ivanisevic started the final strong in the first set winning 6-3, before Pat Rafter took the second set by the same scoreline. And then incredibly, Goran Ivanisevic backed that up by yet again winning the third set 6-3. Pat Rafter then took the fourth set and in the fifth there was very little to split the two players. And when Goran Ivanisevic was leading 8-7, he started praying and using superstitions like using the same ball he'd won his last points with. After four match points, Goran Ivanisevic finally won his first and only Wimbledon title. He then ran into the crowd to see his father, who had just had a triple heart bypass. He then dedicated the win to former NBA star and friend Drazan Petrovic, who died in a car accident in 1993. What is even more spectacular about Goran Ivanisevic's 2001 win is he is the only wild card to ever win Wimbledon, a feat that may never be achieved again. 20 years on from his Wimbledon victory, Goran Ivanisevic is still involved with tennis, coaching one of the all-time greats, Novak Djokovic, who is about to play in the 2021 Wimbledon final.